Hello and welcome to Soda Tasting, an online show dedicated to soda reviews and appreciation. I'm Patrick O'Keefe. The Discovery Channel has Shark Week. On Soda Tasting, we have Sean Week, as my brother Sean joins us once again for the third episode this week, um, while he's on a break from UNC Chapel Hill, where he is a film major. So, Sean, uh, good to have you once again. Thanks for having me. Thanks for tolerating me. It's been fun. <laughs> Today we have an interesting soda. Virgil's Micro Brewed Black Cherry Cream Soda. And what makes it interesting is the stuff on the box and what it's made with. Um, it says that it was made naturally for the Black Cherry Cream Soda Connoisseur. No caffeine, gluten free, no preservatives, no artificial anything. Pull the bottle out, you get all natural flavors, no preservatives, low sodium. It was sweetened with unbleached cane sugar and caramelized unrefined cane sugar. It's also got vanilla extract, black cherry flavor, natural flavors, and purified carbonated water. And that's all that's in it. Um, just those ingredients. Um, so most of the sodas we've had on the show have been high fructose corn syrup, as most tend to be today. But this one is with, uh, you know, pure car unbleached cane sugar. So I don't know um, if you can get any better than that. Feel free to let me know. So beyond that, the, the nutritional facts are... Uh, 160 calories. You've got zero grams of sodium. Most sodas we've had have had uh, similar grams of sodium, but this is low zero grams. Total carbohydrates are 42 grams, all sugars. And yeah, it's black cherry cream soda, micro brewed with black cherry and vanilla beans. So to me, this is a lot of hype. Like there's, there's, and it could be really good. It sounds like it's not even hype. I expect it. To, to taste like I mean, angels made it. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it's definitely the healthiest soda we probably will ever drink. I mean, <laughs> that like, we will drink, maybe. Probably. Yeah. Um, but everything in moderation, of course. of course. And so, you know, I expected to the taste. The expectations are through awesome. the roof, right? I mean, now. it says the brewing process gives Virgil's a rich, creamy body and a taste so pure, you'll swear it's made in heaven. So I, I didn't read that yet. I said angels. So, yeah, I mean, so, I expect this to be just the best. So I think it's time to stop talking about it yeah. and to actually uh, taste it. I just gotta say, the process behind it sounds like it was made like it was a wine or something. It sounds like they put a lot into it, so let's try it. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Alrighty. Let's see what Virgil's got in store. <laughs> oh, very nice. Rise up. It's steaming. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Look at that. It has like a burgundy color. Yeah, it is. It's not, you know, it's kind of, well, it's like dark. It's like dark like cherry, dark black cherry, cherry yeah. black cherry soda. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it smells as I'd expect black cherry to smell um, and how I've smelled. Yeah. How other black cherries that I've had in the past yeah. have done the same. Um, like the IBC black cherry or even the store brand black cherry, uh, Publix, uh, supermarkets. Publix, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Fizz isn't going down. <laughs> oh, wow. Alright, so black cherry cream soda. <clears throat> I think if you're a fan of black cherry, that you'll definitely like this. The yeah. thing is, I'm not a big fan of black cherry. I'm not either, but I'm really liking this. Like it, I don't know. They, the way they described it, obviously the expectations they put in it, then just the flavors that come out of it, it's really rich. Yeah, and the thing is, I really I want to like it too because of those ingredients. Um, and it is, I think, <clears throat> I preface this by saying for a black cherry, it's very good. Yeah. And. You know, my ratings are based on my taste for it, you know, what I'm feeling, not necessarily how much you'll enjoy it. I think if you love black cherry, this is a great soda for you. Um, me personally, kind of struggling. <clears throat> kind of struggling with a rating from zero to five. Yeah, cause but I think I know where I want to go. Yeah, because it comes down to your personal taste, because everything's there. They put it there. Um... What would you what would you rate it? I, I think I know what I would. Well, so. let's hear it. I would probably, gosh, again, you know, I'm not a huge fan of black cherry, but I really like this. I would probably give it. I think a, I think a safe rating, 
is a three out of five. That's my. I think that's my rating. It's a safe rating. Okay, that's that's a safe rating, not a high rating. Not a high rating. I think it's safe because, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of Black Cherry, but they did really well with this. I think anyone who likes Black Cherry would definitely give it a higher rating, like maybe at least a four, if not higher. But being being myself, I would probably give it a three. Yeah. Um. You know, for the third time this week, we're gonna make it a half trick. I'm gonna say I agree with you, and <laughs> I I I, I kind of I had the number in mind already, and we just I don't know we have similar tastes, but I'm gonna throw it at a three, and. I mean, I don't know if there's such a thing as a high three. I didn't want to go to 3.5, but it's definitely um, a solid three, and I think if you love Black Cherry, it's even better. So what i like to know from you, though, is are you a fan of the Black Cherry sodas? Um, you know, they're different from uh, the cherry flavors that are added to different other types of flavors, whether that's adding uh, cherry to lime for cherry limeade or cola and cherry for cherry Coke or Pepsi uh, Wild Cherry or whatever um, your favorite cherry soda is. Do you, do you like the straight, pure... Um, black cherry, and if so, what is your favorite variety of black cherry? Please let me know in the comments on sodatasting.com and also on YouTube, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. You can find links to those profiles on sodatasting.com. And, as always, everything in moderation. <laughs> That's right. We'll see you next time.